I'm Anil Kumar. In this video, we'll factor x cubed minus 7x plus 6. First, let's try to find what are possible factors for 6. So the possible factors for 6 are plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, and plus minus 6. So you'll find the value of this polynomial one by one over these possible numbers and they will give you the first factor. Since we are, we are working with a cubic equation, we need to find a factor first, divide and then get a quadratic equation which can be easily factored. So let's try one. Let's say the polynomial given to us is f of x equal to x cubed minus 7x plus 6. If I try 1, if this is a trial and error. At times you may have to try many values. So if I try 1, I get 1 cube minus 7 times 1 plus 6. And that gives me 1 and 6 is 7. 7 minus 7 is 0. That does give me 0. That means that x minus 1 is a factor. So if the remainder is 0, then we do have a factor that we get from the factor theorem. Now how do we get the other factors? We could do synthetic division at this stage or we could do long division. Right? So let's do synthetic division and practice how to perform this operation in a short method. So in this, we write down all the coefficients for the given equation. Coefficient, one of them is missing here. x cubed, think like this. Let me rewrite the function. It is x cubed. The x square term is missing. So we do a placeholder with 0x square. Now, that really doesn't change the equation, but helps to correctly place all the numbers. And then we have minus 7x plus 6, right? So the coefficients are 1, 0, minus 7, and constant 6. So we write 1, 0, minus 7, and the constant 6. Since we are dividing by a linear factor, in this case, what makes that 0 is 1. So we'll divide that by 1. In normal division, we'll divide by x minus 1 and subtract each value. In this case, what are we going to do? We are going to add each value. The operation will be add when you move downwards. Is it okay? To begin with, we always start with the leading coefficient. It is brought under the line or carry forward as such. In our case, the leading coefficient is 1. We'll multiply 1 by 1. Write the number in the second position. Add 0 and 1, we get 1. We'll again multiply 1 by 1. Place it here, over just 1. Add, we get minus 6. And when we multiply 1 by minus 6, we get minus 6. And when we add, we get 0. And this is the remainder for us. Whenever you divide a cubic function by a linear function, you expect what? Quadratic function, right? Degree 2. So now we get a quotient here. This is x square plus x minus 6. The coefficient of x is 1. Coefficient of x square is 1. And that is the result. And the remainder equals to 0, right? As expected, the remainder is indeed 0. Now we get a quadratic equation which can be factored, correct? So let me first write the function as equal to. We divided this by x minus 1. So x minus 1 is a factor times all this, which is x squared plus x minus 6. Now using sum and product, you can always factor the quadratic function here. We are looking for a product of minus 6 and sum of plus 1. 
so it is 3 and 2. Where 3 should be positive, 2 negative. That will give us negative product and positive sum. So we get x minus 1 times x plus 3 times x minus 2. So that is the factored form for the given polynomial, right? So I hope you understand these steps very clear. The idea is first identify all the possible, these are possible factors. which are factors of the constant. The leading coefficient is 1 and therefore they are not divided by any number. Try them one by one. We were lucky to get the first one as 0. Once you get a factor, perform the synthetic division. In synthetic division, you carry forward the first, the leading coefficient, multiply and place it above the line, add and proceed forward. You expect quadratic function when you divide cubic by a linear function. So write coefficients with the standard quadratic function which is ax square plus bx plus c, right? You know the coefficients and the constant. So you can rewrite your equation with partial factoring and then factor it further to get your answer. I hope that's absolutely clear. Please feel free to share and subscribe to my videos. Thanks for watching.